Hi everyone and welcome back to the studio. We have a very busy week this week and I'm hoping I don't break under the pressure. Today I'm in the studio and I'm just finalising all the finishing touches to our hard finishes presentation. This is for an amazing project in Bahrain that we just started about a month ago. I've got Yasmin in the studio. We're going to be going through some of the amazing finishes together which we'll share with you. Then later on today, I am doing the final touches to our third cushion collection with Andrew Martin. We're gonna be putting all the fabrics that we've designed together with the trims, which is always one of my favorite things to do. I love designing cushions. It's a very busy week, lots of pressure, but I'm really excited, so let's get started. This is our new project in Bahrain and this project we are joining it at quite a late stage and um, they've already had all the interior architecture design. Oh sorry, let me just also <laughs> introduce you. This is Yasmin from our team who is working alongside me and Anthony on this project. She's been working incredibly hard um, and we're really enjoying working on it. So Yasmin's here today um, just to go through the final touches and um, check that we're happy with all the hard finishes, that everything matches nicely. How's, um, how's it been working on the project for you so far Yasmin? It's been super interesting, yeah, especially the feng shui aspect of mm. it. I've never worked on a project where that's been quite a high priority. Um, so as Sophie said, it kind of does narrow down your spaces and your options, mm. but it's been nice for having like a challenge for each room. It's been really, really interesting. Yeah. And I think, you know, they're existing, so they worked with an interior architect and interior designer out in Bahrain, who've done a lot of the groundwork for us, and it's made it you know, a much more simple process for us where this would normally take a year to do all of this. We've been able to review almost all their interior architecture. Was it like 300 drawings or something? There was a lot of drawings. I mean, endless. Always. Like you dived in and then each folder had a subfolder. So we didn't quite realize how many drawings we're gonna have to review, but we've reviewed them all. We're now going through all the finishes. I think the scale of this project, you know, we obviously can't share a floor plan for privacy reasons, but when we first got the floor plans, it takes you about two, three days, although it's 13,000 square foot and we've, we've designed bigger projects. Um, it takes you about two, three days to sort of get your head around the floor plan of these kind of properties because there's just so many rooms and then it what doesn't look like crazy big, what actually is happening is that they've not got that many rooms, but each room is vast. I mean, we're putting in um, life-size life scale um, people on the elevations to show and demonstrate to our client how tall the ceilings are because we don't want them to get there and be like, why have we got kitchen cupboards that are 12 feet up in the air that I'll never be able to reach? Because it's hard to get an idea of that when you're just looking at the elevations. You kind of, in your head, you assume it's like normal proportions. Yeah, the scale is... Intense, yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> intense is our word. Intense, yeah. So we'll have to do a lot of bespoke furniture. I think pretty much everything's going to be custom made, um, which we do tend to do. Like most of our furniture is like 90% custom made, um, but especially where there's quite a few requests in terms of like shapes and the feng shui elements, um, it's just easier for us to make sure that all of that's catered to by doing um, custom furniture. This is a very, very luxurious project, and the client has great taste and um, loves beautiful finishes. So we've got some incredible finishes going on in here. We have this really unusual finish here, which I love. It almost looks like a marble. And this was a liquid metal with um, an antique brass liquid metal running through it. The client hasn't seen this yet, but this is something we're proposing for a Magellus. Um, we love using unusual new finishes and um, just make sure that each project is truly unique. And this is one of my favorite marbles. Um, you might have seen I use this in my gym, which was very extra, um, but it's a Calicata Viola. It's very on trend right now, but I think it's also being a natural material, um, a trend that's gonna endure. So I'm happy to use that in clients' projects. And you can see it tones really nicely with the um, Magnolia wallpaper, which we're proposing for the dining room. And I can show you an image of what that looks like because I've actually got it in my bedroom. But what I love about this wallpaper is it isn't the kind of wallpaper that only works well in a bedroom or only works well in a living room. It completely changes the feel depending on what type of room you're using it in. And whilst in a bedroom, I might keep the detail, like all the flowers and the branches, to quite a high height because there's a lot of furniture like your headboard, your bedside tables that are gonna cover the detail at the bottom. In a dining room, we would customize it slightly. We might do some groundwork so that you're seeing some nice interesting detail at the bottom. We'll take those branches down lower. Um, so you really customise it for the, each room. And that one is from Fermental, that's from our collection that we designed with them. 
And then we're going to mix it up with other different kinds of wall covering. So in the joinery, um, the joinery finish is this um, grey oak. It's got a lovely brushed texture. This is a finish that we're proposing to replace one of their existing ones. And then at the back of that joinery, we are proposing this off-white grass cloth from Philip Jeffries. And I always like doing a, um, quite a textured wall covering at the back of joinery, and that's going to have light flooding down it from an LED strip so that's going to highlight all that texture and it's just quite nice to have that contrast between a very dark timber finish and a very light wool covering makes it more interesting and it tones nicely with the different colours in the magnolia wool covering. Um, so this one is not from our collection but this is from the main collection of Fremantel and we chose this because it has the key colours that the Feng Shui expert wanted from the green that you have to have in your entrance hall um, and then that entrance hall leads through to the atrium where we have the pink onyx so what we'll do is customize this wall covering slightly and where we have the peach threads we might introduce a few threads of this slightly warmer pink into it as well so it kind of um, it slowly introduces this very strong color rather than just jumping straight to it and this um, wallpaper is just going to go within the, uh, the panels that they're creating on the walls again another philip jeffries wall covering which i also love um, but you can see it just picks up very subtly some of the colours that are in this wallpaper from the sandy colours and the peachy tones um, to the greens. So I like the fact that it has like um, a nice link visually but we needed something slightly more neutral because this would be too much around the whole room. Another one that I'm very excited about, this is from our collection that we'll be launching at the same time as the Oakleaf wallpaper. I designed this a good two years ago but it hasn't been seen anywhere. And this is the project that I would like to use it in first. I'm always quite, these are like my babies. I like to release them to the right projects um, before they get seen anywhere else. So this is a Pussy Willow design and you can see it's got like the beautiful silk embroidery where it has the little, um, I don't know if they're seed pods or flowers, what you call them. Um, but this is a very geometric design. It just hangs down really nice and straight. Um, so it's not a difficult design to use. It's not overly floral. Um, but we were planning on using this in the ground floor guest bedroom so it's appropriate whether it's a female or male guest that stays. And then last one that I'm going to highlight to you, again another grass cloth. This is a particularly slubby grass cloth um, which I really love. Um, and it looks quite overwhelming when you look at it in a tray but what I always say, and I'm sure you've heard me say on camera before Ollie, is if it looks too much in a tray, it will be just right in a room because everything disperses and becomes a bit more subtle. So you want to try and be as brave as you can at this stage because it will pay dividends later. I'm going to Sarah Chapman for a facial in my lunch break. Just need to do a bit of self-care. Um, and I always have to try and squeeze it in amongst work and kids because um, there is no time for a full self-care um, session. How was uh, the response to the last video of your oh, uh, closet tour? Wow, well we literally filmed it. Today's Monday and we filmed that on, was it Thursday? No, it was even, I think it was the Tuesday. Was it Tuesday? I have no concept of time. <laughs> <laughs> um, it feels like it was yesterday. But the response was amazing. You know, I'll be honest. I put off filming that particular room in my bedroom in my house because, um, even though we've had a lot of requests of people asking me about what I'm wearing or can I see inside your wardrobe, can I see like your closet tour, I just am very conscious that I don't ever want to be um, showing off or you know unaware of like the wider situation in the world. You know, we're going into recession, so for me it was something that I was very sort of hesitant about doing, but. The response has been amazing and what I think you guys have realised and I'm really glad that's come across is that I'm not someone who buys lots and lots of things for the sake of it. I have a few designer pieces but I really sort of look after my things and have them for like 10, 15 years. I've got like the minute I don't fit into the clothes is when it all they'll go but I've still got stuff from 15 years ago that I still love and, and use. Um, so it was really nice to share that part of my home and complete the house tour. I haven't done a tour of the bathrooms. I might do one of our principal ensuite bathroom. Um, it is a really nice room and I love it, but I don't know, it just feels weird like walking around your bathroom doing a tour to YouTube. Um, so I haven't sort of got my head around that one, even though I've done the whole rest of the house. So for now, that's the house tour um, semi-complete.
so talk to me about this outfit. Oh, um, this is an Ulla Johnson top that I bought in 20 Petworth, one of my favourite boutiques in West Sussex. Um, I also got these mother jeans from them, um, some Hermes um, sandals, and then this is the Whistles bag that I showed in my closet tour. It's just a high street bag I've had for quite a few years, um, but I like to keep it quite low-key when I'm in London. So we're just going to walk down Pavilion Road, um, going to Sarah Chapman for a facial before my next meeting. Um, this is such a lovely street, it's always really bustling. They um, pedestrianised it a few years ago, um, so you don't get any cars. You've got this real lovely cafe culture, some really nice cafes and boutiques down here, so I love coming here. So come follow me. So this, Ollie, is a really popular um, cafe. They always have a massive queue outside. The name's gone from my head, but it's an Australian um, cafe. I'll remember what it's called in a minute. But they do amazing brunch in there. And I've actually been there with um, Kevin once and I bumped into a potential client, so it's good for business too. So hot. <laughs> I know, have you got your suntan lotion on? Indeed. Good. We'll need to get you a little umbrella that fits on top of your camera. Oh, yeah. But isn't this street so picture perfect? And all the branding and everything. So I just finished my facial. I really did not think this through because now I've got to do the rest of today's film with no makeup. But I'm a busy working mom, so sometimes you just got to squeeze in the self care when you can. So now we're going to rush back down Pavilion Road, head into the car to Chelsea Harbour. So let's go. We are at Chelsea Harbour. We're just about to head into Andrew Martin. Um, to have a meeting with David Harris and we're going to put all the trims and the fabrics together for our next collection. Hi David, how are you? I'm very well, how are you? Good, nice to see you. You too, you're looking well. Thanks. I just had a facial, so excuse the shiny face. Oh. Hi, how are you? Maybe I could do one of those. <laughs> oh, I can see some so exciting I've been, I've fabrics. Been a bit of, you know, preparation. Some groupings. You, yeah. This one, love this. Yeah. So cool. Are we it's doing nice. this? In, oh, we've got it in the grey yeah, as well. The grey and the oh, and the, and and the, the neutral. neutral. Yeah. Love it. So they go with all the existing Love ones. It. That we've done we before. didn't do it in the blue, though, did we? No, no. So it's just a free sort of original Love colorway. this. So you can add them oh, to Monty. Uh, <gasps> I know. I'm going to use this in Ava's bedroom. I'm going to give her a little dressing chair yeah. upholstered in that. Third cushion collection. Third cushion collection. Yeah. Woodland. This is called. Is that what we're calling it? Woodland. Yeah. So it's a little bit more. We obviously have a leopard in our it's woodland. In a wild <laughs> it's a it's wild escaped cat. out the zoo. <laughs> That's exactly right. Um, but I mean, perfect name because of the oak leaf, isn't it? Yeah, and that's so. sort of where it all starts. Yeah, very nature, yeah. very biolithic. Yes. Very on trend. Exactly. Um, and for every order that is placed, we plant a tree. So whether it's a cushion or a sample or a fabric. Do we actually? We plant a tree. Well, we do at Andrew Martin, and this will be included in that. Oh, so that's great. I never knew that. Every single order, and we plant them in the UK and then all across sort of South America. Actually, no, I remember Mike talking about yeah. this. That's such so a good initiative. thousands and thousands yeah. of trees every year. Yeah. Which well, that's really nice. Good. We could weave that into the whole yeah, story. Absolutely. Woodland, absolutely. we're planting woodlands as we yeah, speak. Yeah, we should put something in the book about it. Actually. Yeah. I think it's just quite a nice... Yeah, it's one of those things you assume people know, but they don't necessarily. Yeah. And you know, it is very difficult to produce books of purely sort of recycled product or, you know, organic products and have it absolutely squeaky clean. That's actually mm. a very difficult thing to do. Yeah. And I think as long as people see that you're trying to make an effort with using natural yarns and Definitely. all that stuff. And, then and a lot of this is made in the UK as well, isn't it? All the prints are done in the UK and then all the weaves are done in Italy. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. it's fairly local. Yeah, and all using sort of, you know, nice natural finishes. And then lots of them have an anti-stain uh, finish on. Mm -hmm. So all of the weaves, and these are sort of new eco anti-stain finishes That's great. as well. This is called Wildcat, which comes in this great tan colour grey and then this neutral colour as well if you're not quite brave enough to go for a full-on leopard print this is a really good way of sort of sneaking it past your husband and before you know it he loves leopard print <laughs> yeah. I'm definitely putting some of this in Ava's room it's bringing this is you in your natural habitat isn't it yeah this is the best bit of the job <laughs> very exciting and these are all launching in September so yeah 
And we're going to do a talk, aren't we, David? We are going to do a very interesting talk. Yes, on the 19th of September. 19th of September. About yeah. designing. Yes, about designing cushions, the cushions and fabric yes. and printing. And... How to make the most of your cushions, how to update your sofa with cushions, yeah, and basically all... buy our cushions. Yes, all in time for Christmas. <laughs> So, uh, how's the day gone then, so? It's been a brilliant day, so much fun. I love being in the studio this morning with Yasmin, designing our Bahrain project, and just putting the finishing touches to that presentation. And then a little bit of self-care with a facial at Sarah Chapman, which was a real treat. Um, so excuse for the appearance of me, I feel a bit naked, um, filming me without any makeup. Um, and then finally going to Chelsea Harbour to design all the cushion collections and put the schemes together for the cushions with David and Andrew Martin, which is honestly like the most fun part of this job and what I think people actually think an interior designer does all the time, which is just design cushions. Um, I wish it was, but that was like a really fun afternoon. And now I'm just heading back to the studio. I need to wrap up a few things with the presentation before I make dinner and put my kids to bed. So I would just finish off this video by answering a few of your questions. I have been answering quite a few online, but I struggle because I have two children and I need to look after them and I'm not working and running the business, but I appreciate your support so much. So I just wanted to go through a few of the questions that I've seen and shared and come back to you on those. Salma Saeed said three weeks ago, can you please do a video on where you source your faux trees and plants in the house? and how to style them in your home. I'm so in love with all the faux olive trees you use in your projects. I certainly can. It's actually my sister, she's a florist, um, Charlotte. Her company's called Wildwood London. She supplies all our faux olive trees and she does lots of different faux trees and faux plants. Um, so I'll put her link in the description box and she can make anything custom as well. Mr. Henry 84 asked, I would love a video focusing on how to do interior design in a house where they but there are dogs and cats. Um, we all know our pets love to jump on furniture, so what's your advice? Yes, I've got some great advice there. Um, I did have a spaniel for 10 years and she jumped on all the furniture, all the beds, everything. Had no respect for any of my furniture. So what I always do, whether it's for um, my clients or when I had a pet myself, was before I pick some fabric, I do the rub test. So I get the piece of fabric and I rub it on the pet's fur and what you want to try and do is pick a colour of upholstery for your main upholstery pieces like sofas if you think your pets are going to jump on them and you want to see how much their fur will stand out against that base colour because as long as it blends in, you know obviously you want to vacuum it and try and stay clean but pets shed a lot of hair so if you're fighting against the natural colour of their fur with your upholstery that's going to show up more. Um, so my dog was black, I chose a dark aubergine sofa in my kitchen as a result. So that's what I would say is like pick your um, fabrics very carefully. Generally, I would go a little bit darker unless you have like a white haired cat, in which case there's no hope. Get rid of the cat. <laughs> 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 and also like with um, some of our clients that have cats, we notice that they like to pick the fabric. So we also pick very robust fabrics that um, don't pull easily. Fatima <laughs> Ali asked, love your garden, so stunning, but I'm wondering why don't you have a pool? Frankly, Fatima, I'm asking myself the same thing. Where is my pool? I would love a pool. Sadly, I don't have one. Um, I'll need to work harder and maybe one day I'll be able to get one. Natalie Abreu asked 11 Ooh. days ago, may I ask what type of frame, metal and colour you suggest for framing large pictures and artwork in a living room? I really like um, a bronze frame or an oak, like a dark grey oak tray frame. So over here, this is a good example of like a bronze frame in the mitered corner and then I think it's quite nice I didn't do it on this one but you can get like a linen slip which looks really elevated and um, with a tray frame that's quite good for oil paintings because it's a very very thin profile and so it doesn't detract from the oil painting itself. Shonel Paul said please do a video about how do you match the wall colours perfectly I'm currently doing a kitchen bar renovation and struggle the most with getting the wall colours just right also finished up that my wall paint ended up looking nothing like the swatch. How do you navigate that? What are your go-to brands, colours? Um, you have to paint on the actual wall. You can't just use the sample, like the colours are never true. And I would say I wouldn't even paint on a piece of paper because that can change the colour as well. If I'm serious about it, I'll paint like large samples and I'll do it on multiple walls in the room. 
because um, depending on the light, like if the light's directly on it, it will look a lot lighter. In terms of go-to colours, Khaki Mess 6 by Dulux is like such a great neutral. It's the colour I painted Ava's room and everyone always asks me about that and it's an affordable paint, so I would say that one. And this last question, I'm gonna do a video because um, Sass Fleet wrote the nicest comment. Um, she said, or he said, I'm not sure if it's a she or he, um, what a beautiful room, Sophie. I'd love to know more about the process of hand embroidery on wallpaper. Maybe you could do a How It's Made series with your favorite designers. You have a great sense of humor. I feel you would be great fun on a night out. Well, that's very nice of you to say. Um, I think I am good fun on a night out. Um, Ollie's been out with me for a few nights with our team, so maybe he can let you know. Um, but I'll definitely do a video on the wallpaper and how it's made. To me, it's like an incredible skill that they use. Um, so I will team up with Fremental to do a video on that. But in general, I just wanna say thank you so much to everyone for all your support, all your questions, all your comments. Um, we love doing these videos for you guys. So I hope you keep watching, keep enjoying, and we'll see you very soon.